What's up YouTube, it's your boy Douglas M. And today I will be going over the Peel app uh, for my Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. And it's a pretty cool app, man. Um, very easy to use. And I'm gonna get into it um, a little bit. Uh, first I wanted to say, I mean, it's very easy to set up. All you need to know is your, the, the, the brand name of your, of your, of your devices. You don't need to know the model number. Well, let me put in my little pin code and I'll be right back. Like I said, all you need to know is the brand name of your devices. Like for instance, you know, your TV, uh, you know, whether it be a Samsung, LG or a Vizio, you just, it, it'll have a menu and you just, you press whatever, you know, brand name you have. And then it's going to ask you for your set top box which, you know, for examples could be DirecTV, Dish Network, Uverse, Time Warner, for example, and you push that. It, it has it all has all of them lined up and you just you just click that. It also can control a, a home or a receiver, like a um, surround sound receiver. If your sound comes through that, it can control that too. And the good thing about this app, which I pull up right here, see it there, the yellow circle, Peel Smart Remote. That's what it is. Let me go ahead and click it. It can control, it can turn on your TV and your um, your set-top box and your receiver with one button. Or you can do it manually. Now, I would say, when I say manually, turn them on one by one. Now, I have to do that because I have this set up um, on this note on my kitchen setup. And my TV's on the wall, but my set-top box, my direct TV box is in the kitchen um, behind the kitchen door closet door so it's not direct line of sight so it's not there's no way the the IR blast is going to hit both of those targets um, in the same position it's just I've tried it, it's not going to happen okay well I'm going to explain all of that a little bit in a little bit but let me get over here to the right where it says all off now, if I wanted to turn on my, if I'm in the line of sight of my devices, and I wanted to turn them both on, or all three, or all both on, whatever your setup is, I would just hit <clears throat> watch television, and boom, it would turn on, right? But all, all your devices would, would turn on. Well, not all of your devices. Again, whether if you have a TV, if you just have a TV and set box those two would turn on. If you have a TV set box and receiver, those threes would turn on. But if I wanted to do it separate, which which is the way I have to do it because they're not in a line of sight, then I can do it manually. I could just go and just hit, let's get a little closer. I just hit power there. That would turn on the TV and that would turn on my um, set top box. So I just wanted to show you that there. Um, turn them back. Oh, well, I guess I could leave it on. Let me go over here now. Now, what you see on the screen is also when you when you when you set this up, it asks you what type of shows you like, whether it be comedy, sport, uh, sports, drama, um, you know, sci-fi, whatever. You get my drift. You check off those that you like. And when you come on, when you turn it on, like you, when you open the app, you see this. Now, actually, that's just top picks, as you see to the upper left. But if I hit, click the TV icon, and then I click, let's say, oh, yeah. I click the TV icon, and then this comes up. Now, if you look to the left, these are all these different types of shows you can um, watch. Like, for instance, if I hit comedy, those will come up now the cool thing about it this is actually live uh shows that are on right now what, what time is it 6 55 it's saturday so these shows are actually on on direct tv so if i click the cosby show let's just say right and then i click watch tv it'll come right on that simple or you know i can flip through this way and it'll just give me different shows that are on based on what I checked off. I think that is awesome. So <clears throat> now it, it's not, you know, you see all of these 
right here to the left. <clears throat> see that? Entertainment. Let's go to entertainment and see what comes up. Oh, only one. Let's go to game show. See what comes up there. Oh, only one. Let's go to kids. Let's see. A bunch of stuff comes up there. So, think of this app also as not just a remote, but it's like a visual TV guide, which uh, it can't be nothing but awesome. Um, so, uh, okay, and then I'm just going to pack my stuff up and go to my kitchen and show, give you a visual of how this stuff works. All right, so just give me uh, one moment and I'll get us there. Oh, and actually before I do that, see that icon right there next to watching television to the left? You can actually add another room. It says add new room right there. So if I want to add a new room, I could. Um, let's see what it says. Name. Oh, and I can I can have a name. I can uh, put a title for that room so I know how to toggle uh, between the two. All right, so that's pretty cool. I think you can have up to three rooms saved, so that's pretty awesome. All right, so let me go go to the next room. I'm sorry about that. All right, guys, um, that's my TV right there, um, and you can kind of see my closet door right there. Um, I have to leave it open while I operate this. Now, also. I want to mention to you guys that um, this IR remote is um, no more powerful than your remote to your device. So if your <clears throat> Time Warner remote can't go through your door, like if something is blocking it and it can't, this is not going to be able to get through either. So it's just, uh, it can go just to the same distance as your remote, whether it be for your TV, set-top box, or receiver. Just wanted to throw that out there. <clears throat> so let's go ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my um, devices, which would be my Direct TV. And now I have to go a little close to my TV to get it. And turn on my TV. All right. So <clears throat> also, I forgot to mention that this can, can control the volume. You can manually change channels um, with this, whether it be up or down or actually punching in a number we'll get into that so uh, let's see so right now you see all right the Martin show is on right so if I click that and and I hit watch TV uh, I gotta get my see So it went right there. Let me give you another. It's in the commercial right now. And I'm going to turn up the volume in a second. Seinfeld. No. Let's see. We'll go to some other ones. Let me go to. Hmm. I don't know what the heck this is. But I'm going to click that. see went right there so that's pretty cool and again you know we can go back right we can go back and then we can hit the sports where is that or any one of these any one of these music and dance let's just say and what comes up Music video awards, no. I'll probably get in trouble if I put that. So let me go. Uh, let me go back to comedy. And let's say. Sorry for this angle. All right, everyone loves Raymond. See that there? All right. And boom. Is this a commercial?
Oh, uh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> that might be a fail. Let's try. Let's try the Cosby. We're going to try the Cosby show. There it is. Let's tilt to the side. See if that comes on. All right, so that worked. Oh, okay, what's happening? I guess the time, what time is it? 7.04, so I guess some shows are starting and some are ending. All right, well, anyway, let's go ahead and show you the volume. See this thing right here? When I go up like this, it should go up. That's the volume, and these right here are the channels. So I'm going to have to go up to it to change it because... The range is not that great. You see? Turning it up. I can turn it down. All right. I can mute it. That's mute. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if you saw that, but when I when I tap this right here, that's a mute. All right, and see those numbers in there? When I tap those in, it'll change the channel. So I'm going to turn it to channel 206 <clears throat> on my cable box. And that should be Sports Center. See? I'm going to take it off of mute. I did it all through here. Now also it has some other effects. I'll get into that when we're in 12 minutes. Okay. Whoa. See that there? You have your menu, just, just like your direct TV remote. Menu, back, guide. See, if I hit, if I hit guide, <clears throat> my guide should come up. See? Just like your remote. Okay. So that's basically it, guys. Um, you know, it was kind of a sloppy review, but that's the Peel remote. Now, like I said, um, it, think of it as a remote slash um, visual TV guide. And um, I don't know, did, will this replace your remote? I don't think so. I don't think it will, but it's certainly an aid to it. Um, because again, you know, not everything has an IR blaster. Um, right now, I know your tab does, you know, your note, your, this note, Samsung note does, but I don't know of a cell phone that has one. So, and, and you know, these tabs, the battery life is not that great. They say eight hours. I'm getting like five, six hours with my note right now. So, <clears throat> you know, I, is it going to be on all day? No, but it's certainly something pretty cool to have and like I said you can have three different setups um, so you can do like your kitchen your living room and your bedroom so this one your, so your note can actually potentially control most of your house um, you know with, with with one app so uh, that's pretty cool too um, but that's about it hit like if you like it um, put a comment in if you have any questions or uh, just a general comment could say I suck, whatever. Um, and uh, if anything, thanks for looking, and uh, look for look out for other videos that I may have on um, products that I get in, especially Samsung or Yamaha products. And uh, that's about it. See you on the next video.